Not everything goes right all the time, but if you try your hardest and it doesn't go well, then still have fun doing it. I think he's got that, yeah. I'm so competitive as well that you can only take it so far with just having fun, you know? Ever since I've known him, he's being able to relax and chill and then go and do this like seriously dangerous stuff to like the highest level. It's pretty special. I'm Laurie Greenland, I grew up in Bristol in the southwest of England. So I grew up right opposite a skate park. Literally the bedroom windows overlooked the skate park. I learned to ride in that park, took my stabilizers off for the first time in that park. My dad was always in that park as well. He was super into skating, so it was like ground zero. Yeah, I mean, he, before he could walk, he was pushing himself around on a skateboard at home, just climbing onto it and just sort of scooting about bouncing off the walls as a kid, so, you know, loads of energy. Mad energy. I remember we used to get, like, taken out of class to do some weird, like, ADHD settling. I don't really think I gave it a lot of, like, thought. I think it's just about just doing what's fun. It just happened so naturally from that point on. It was just me following my dad into the, into the hills, riding bikes. It's pretty funny, I'd like copy his mannerisms and like, it's just so I wanted to be just like him. Are we off? It was that simple, just having fun together. It was easy. This whole side of my life is not something I've opened up about much in my career. My, my mum passed away when I was about 14 and she was about 41. She actually had health issues that went on before she actually passed away. She had quite a good perspective and outlook, and she taught me quite a lot of that already. Yeah, hello. I was taken out of school for a little bit, and me and my dad just rode bikes. Go on, Laurie. Oh, we raced loads. <laughs> it dragged us both out of that hard time, I think, massively. Kind of, like, set me on the path I'm on right now. I haven't changed, like, ever since that happened. It really taught me kind of how I wanted to live my life from there on out, yeah. He's always been a little bit driven, and I think sport's always been just a good positive focus. He's channeled it in a, in a good way. With mountain bikes and World Cup racing, it was like, it was option one and option one was the only option. There was no plan. I was like, even before I was pro, I like, believed that I was pro.
deep in the Welsh Valleys here, but I've been riding here for about 15 years. Yeah, grew up riding these trails. Obviously, I'm super proud of his career. It'd be hard to imagine watching a more exciting sport than watching your own son racing downhill, really. Yeah, I feel like you've got a bit of a double life. When Loz is back in Bristol with us, he doesn't natter on about the biking much. So, like, it's only when you actually go into that world and see the race that you're like, oh, my God, this is what he does. Probably like one of the things I'm most proud about. Someone on it, yeah. Right. Seeing your friends catch a wave is way more fun than catching a wave yourself, see? So. Every time I drive back or fly back, I kind of get that that feeling of home. But it doesn't really matter where you are. It just needs to be getting back with your, your, your kind of people you miss and love. <laughs>